Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great end of November. Hey, Jessica. Hey, everyone. I'll give you guys just a second to pop on. I am uh, working on my my launch program that I have for my builders in doTERRA, and I just thought I would pop on here and share with you guys some of my my tips from it so that you can use it um, and duplicate it down to your teams as well. Good morning from Charlotte. Yay, I'm glad you need to hear this today. I know that a lot of you are running around crazy probably. It's the end of the month and we are trying to hit our goals. Has anyone achieved their goal for this month? If you have, I'd love to see it. Type it in, I'd love to see that you guys have achieved it. Hey Tamara. Who's achieved their goals this month? It doesn't have to be rank. It could be. It could be anything. Somebody hit elite. Awesome. Essentially crunchy. We got another new elite. Awesome. Sometimes my goals are so simple. Sometimes it's just to literally wake up and clean my house. Um, <laughs> somebody solidified sil uh, premiere. Oh, somebody hit silver. Oh, so good. 148 away from silver. Yes, it is absolutely happening to you. Yay. Somebody re-ranked gold, hit their power of 250. So good. So good. Over 10,000 in volume to premiere. Aren't these inspirational? I love, love, love seeing these guys. Somebody's close to platinum oils with Jamie. Go for it, girl. You can do it. Oh, gosh. That is just, it makes my morning seeing that. I love seeing that. I remember how how I started my business in doTERRA and um, there's a lot of things I would do differently now there's a lot of things I would do differently and I am doing differently now um, I've learned a lot along the way and I know that you guys have too um, so I want to share with you guys six steps that I've learned and I'm also teaching my team as they are building their doTERRA business um, if brief introduction right now, just to make it really short and sweet, I'm Jackie Ritz. I am um, founder of the Paleo Mama blog, but I'm also a Blue Diamond and doTERRA. That's where my heart is actually right now. Um, I do hope Elite happens for you too. I definitely am praying for that. Um, and now I am, my passion now is helping other people become debt free. Um, a lot of people in doTERRA, you know, the, the leaders are passionate about something. But for me, it comes down to helping other people achieve that financial freedom that I achieved um, a year and a half ago when we got on the Dave Ramsey show and we did our debt-free scream. I remember ripping up that last bill and I remember how empowering that was to have my future in my hands and not to be in debt to anybody. It was so, so amazing. And so that's what I am doing and that's what I hope for all of you. And that's what my passion is, is sharing with others and sharing with you how to become debt free. Now I've used doTERRA as a vehicle to do that. There's many other ways you can do it, but I honestly believe that network marketing is the best business model in the world. Um, it, it does, it's not easy, and I don't lie about that. Um, I know a lot of people will say it's so easy, you can sit in your pajamas at home and play on the computer all day, but it, that's not true, guys. It's hard, you gotta work your butt off, um, but it's worth it, it's totally worth it. And if you are willing to invest into your future, you will create a financial pipeline of residual income. There's days that I can take off work um, because I have that residual income and I don't have to work every single day if I don't want to. Now I do <laughs> um, because I love this job and I love um, helping other people achieve financial freedom but also um, making those natural shifts in their health and seeing how that they're able to trade in, you know, different products and over the counter products and different things for essential oils and doTERRA. So um, the beauty of this business is that you can pick your own adventure. Do you want to move really slow? Do you want to um, just make enough money to pay for your oils? Um, do you want to supplement your income? Do you want to have enough money to, 
uh, buy organic groceries. Um, I say that because that was my goal at first is to have enough money, 500 extra a month, so that we can buy real food and organic groceries. Um, do you want to completely replace and multiply your income? Do you want to bring your husband home from his corporate job? You know, whatever it is, it can be achieved and already has been achieved in doTERRA. Um, Emily Wright said in the Diamond Group on Facebook that I think there's 250 new silvers as of just four days ago. Um, and so silver income is an amazing income. It's it's twenty four to twenty seven thousand dollars that you're able to use that for a lot of people. That's a supplemental income um, for some people. That's a that's a replaced income. Um, and, and, and for me, that would almost be what I made in a year when I was working in the corporate world. Very close to that. Now I'm able to make over that in one month. Um, so this is something that you can, you know, create. It's and the, and the, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. So I'm excited that you're here on this scope, um, all 100 of you right now, because that means that you're interested in a more holistic approach to your health and your self-care. But it also means that you want to create something in your doTERRA business. And so you may dream of financial freedom like I did. And you may dream of time freedom. Or maybe you're here because you just want to serve others. Um, I've been in your shoes and I, I wanted more in life and now I'm able to do something that I love while helping others seek financial freedom. Um, so I, I just invite you today um, to grab a pen and paper and allow me this opportunity to share some information with you that could quite possibly change your life um, because it changed mine. And if what I share with you excites you, then I, I invite you to share it with your teams and help them because what I think it was back in a leadership retreat in March where there was a slide on the, I'm going to try to say this without crying. Um, there was a slide on the, on the screen that said there are people on their knees who need financial freedom. And they need this opportunity in, do, do, in this business. And how dare of you not to share that with them? doTERRA has somehow changed your life. So do it, pass it on, and change somebody else's life with it. But I also am a realist. And I know that just by saying this doesn't mean nothing to you if you're not equipped with the tools to do it. And so I believe in providing massive value for my team. And I believe in inviting massive value for you if you're not on my team. And so stick around. I'm going to share with you guys six tips, six strategies for achieving your goals of Diamond and doTERRA. Um, what's really funny is this works for people going for Diamond. This works for people going for manager. This works for people going for silver. Wherever you are in your journey in doTERRA, whatever rank you're at, this works, okay? So it's six steps. You do it over and over and over. You rinse and repeat. And you will even hear president, presidential diamonds that are still teaching classes. They're still enrolling. They're still following up. They're still doing the same steps that they did in the beginning. Okay, so um, these are just skill sets. You can refine them. You can read more on them. You can um, do personal development and business development. You can do all that. Um, but these are skill sets that you want to refine. Um, everyone needs natural solutions in their life. Everyone needs doTERRA. That's the beauty of this business is that you could be a brand new baby who could benefit from having myrrh um, applied on them topically on their belly button as, you know, it's healing. Um, and you can be a person on their deathbed who is diffusing console in their room as they're breathing their last breath. This is for everybody from birth to death and everything in between. So 
that is, you have a market that is huge here. And the studies are being done that people are sick of their health care. They're sick of their financial situation. They're sick of their insurance um, and their, or maybe their lack of it. And they're looking for something that is going to provide them that opportunity of alternative. I don't think it should be called alternative. I really believe it is the the way, the healthcare that we should use. So um, I am, I've created this space in our community where I can help other people. And we're gonna start with diving into the business opportunity on this scope and on this video. Um, I thought this was a good time to do it because, oh, goodness, because I want to upload this to YouTube as well. So I, um, if you're watching this on YouTube on the replay, you know, if you're watching this on Periscope Live, I'm just, I'm so grateful that you're here. So the beauty of doTERRA is the product sells itself. We have a retention rate of 70%, guys. It's unbelievable, unbelievable in the network marketing industry. Um, so how do we start and how do we how do we start this business? And if you have already started, how do you help somebody else start this business? Okay, so this applies to you if you're starting, and this applies to your leaders and your builders, your sharers, as they are um, starting and launching their doTERRA business. So what do you do? The first step is, is you start. You jump right in, you commit yourself that you're going to learn as you go, um, and you don't get caught up in, hey, I'm going to wait. I really need to get ready. I need to get my stuff. I need to read more books. Um, I need to understand this a little bit better. I need to have the compensation plan memorized. No, guys, that you're going to put it off and you're going to put it off and you're going to put it off and you're never, ever, ever going to start. So the best way to start is just to jump in. Um, how many of us tap the screen if you jumped into this? If you literally just jumped in, um, all in, you had no idea what you were doing, but you somehow you figured it out along the way. See all those hearts? See, all of us started this way. Um, you don't have to have all the answers. So you let go of trying to be perfect uh, and you give yourself grace as you work towards building your business so that you can build your dreams. I taught my first class before I even understood the compensation plan. I had no idea what the paychecks were coming. Like I just started getting these paychecks in the mail and I had no idea what they were for. That is how I started. And it just, it's something that I learned along the way. And so that's the best way to start. Um, you're here. You love your oils. You love telling people how to use them. You've probably given a few bottles away. Or maybe you've let somebody use your wholesale account to order your oils, right? Um, but you're here. And you're ready. And you're willing to serve and to show up and serve others. So you work hard at whatever you do. Whether it's a corporate job that you're in. Whether it's a professional job. Maybe you're in the health and wellness industry already. Maybe you're a mom who just wants to do something in her free time. Um, but you've let your mind wander. And you wonder what your life would look like if you're doing something else that you've always dreamed about doing. So let's launch it. Let's launch your business. Let's help other people launch their business as well. Um, this is a one month plan. If you follow this six steps, then it's quite possible that you will hit elite. Okay. I highly believe that if somebody follows these six steps to a T in their first month, that they can hit elite. You duplicate that to three builders, then you're going to hit silver. The foundation for every rank pretty much in doTERRA is elite. It is, you know, we got that elite volume and even presidential diamonds, they depend on those elites. So um, if you can understand how to launch elites and to get their business really moving and started and help them get that paycheck, that is what is going to get them to believe. Now, personally, I've... I've the elites are the hardest ones to stick around because um, they're not making a lot of money 
Uh, and a lot of times they aren't grasping that bigger vision and their mission. So it's important for us to dive in with them and to help them understand what their mission is in this business and why they're doing it. All right, so how do you actually prepare somebody to launch their business? And so I have a few tips that I do. The biggest one is to find out who their support system is. You know, if they are, um, and it usually is somebody that they enrolled with. Um, sometimes they enroll with someone who is not working the business. So it's important that they find that closest upline premiere and um, start doing the mentorship with them and start really helping them um, start their business. And then also, you know, we have to help them with simple things like setting up their back office, customizing it, um, getting them plugged into what other kind of support system that you have, uh, whether it be a business builders group on Facebook and also a product discussion group. Now, I have two separate groups for my team and one of them is business builders group. And in that group, we talk all business. Everything is business in that one. And then the product discussion group is all education, all training, all teaching them how to use the products and create this vibrant lifestyle of using the oils and using doTERRA products. So those go hand in hand. When you educate somebody to learn to love the oils, you are gonna see that your retention rate in this business goes up. So education is huge, okay? Um, a lot of times we focus on this. We focus on builders and finding builders and training builders and getting them started and helping them get motivated and dragging them along um, when all the while we forget about those 85, I think, percent of people in doTERRA who just use and love the oils. So make sure that you're doing both of those. Um, we also want to help them understand the importance of loyalty rewards in our reward system so that they're able to create that vibrant lifestyle each month and order those natural products that they need each month, but also so that they're able to get their bonuses and commissions. Okay, so that's how we get prepared. We get prepared by, by doing all those things and, and once we're able and once we have all that set up, we can move on and follow the steps of the process of building your doTERRA business and launching it. Um, if you accept this, embrace the challenge of the suck, okay, because there are times that this sucks, but in the process, we are growing in ways that we have no idea. Um, there was things in, that I did early on in my business, huge mistakes that I made, um, but I learned through those how to never ever do them again, but also how to help other people avoid making those same mistakes. Um, so let's start with step number one, all right? Um, like I said, it's important that you explain to uh, your, your, your builders, and it's also for you to also understand what kind of door in doTERRA do you want to walk through? Are you going to be a user? Are you going to be a sharer? Are you going to be a builder? And knowing those up front with our, with our new enrollments is important. I don't want to drag a sharer into a builder position if that's not what they want. I don't want to rely on a, sh a sharer as my front line if all they want to do is share in their free time. You know, it's really important that you understand um, what type of person, what type of customer, what kind of builder you're dealing with. All right, so the most important thing is for us to help our builders prepare. All right, and the way that we set it up for them to prepare is we help them create their names list. Um, this is something where we, we start them to think, we want to help them think about the people in their life that could benefit using essential oils, okay? Um, and so if you haven't taken the time to look through certain build guides, you know, doTERRA has a build guide, Share Success has a build guide, um, Edge, Edge Success also has a build guide. Look through that and most of those guides have those names list section. And so this is where we're gonna write down all of our friends, our family, our community, um, and others that we've come into contact with that we wanna share doTERRA with. And these are the people that we're going to 
um, invite to our first class or to our first series of classes. Um, I recommend a minimum of 100 names, although I think that you can come up with way more than 100. Most of us have a hundred, over 100 people on our friends list on Facebook, and Facebook is a great way and a great tool to use as we're inviting. Okay, so um, once you once you have created your names list, then you want to identify 45 high priority names. All right. Ideally, we want to go through the 100, but we want to start with 45, around 45. And those 45 names are whom you're going to share oils with the very first time um, in your very first class. And you're going to use a pencil and you're going to you're going to make sure that you track and erase everyone who doesn't attend a class. You're going to add new people to it. And this is just a way for you to track your friends, your family, your your people that you have in your life and your community, okay, that you're going to invite. Um, so this is this is all part of the prepare phase, okay? I like to follow uh, the pipes, um, and so we do prepare, we do inviting, we do presentation, we do enrolling, and we do supporting. So that's the pipes, and I love that acronym, and I use that, and those are the steps that we follow um, as we're launching new builders. Um, the, the next thing that you want to do is you want to prioritize that names list. You want to categorize it and you want to figure out who's a customer, who's a share, who's a builder. All right, like I've said before, this is important because this will help you um, not have too high expectations for people who don't really want to build this business. Okay, um, a share is somebody who would make a great host and host a class for you, even a customer, somebody who maybe they're a customer and they don't want to do anything in this business, but maybe they have a great network. So that's another good person who would make a very good host for you. And then a builder is obviously someone who wants to partner with you and build this business. So envision what your ideal builder will be. Um, and, and I always like to tell people, write down the qualities and the attributes you're looking for in a business partner. Um, and the more that you focus Focus and seek that type of person, that is who you're going to attract, okay? Um, you attract what you're, what you're doing as well. And um, so prioritize your names list and figure out if you have any builder prospects. So anyone who you can count on to partner in this business with you. And so you wanna take these three potential builders in your names list and you wanna approach them about the business opportunity in doTERRA. And this is something that you probably might wanna wait on a little bit until you got your first class or so under your belt, but if you're ready and willing to go and you know who that is, then go for it. Um, these kind of business partners could be people that just have a, a health niche. Maybe they're business owners, they're networkers, maybe they're just socially active, um, maybe they're parents who have a big network in their school community. So, Identify who these people are, um, and that's all part of our preparing, and that's preparing for the next steps, okay? So step number two, and lesson number two is inviting. All right, we got the PIPES acronym, we got prepare, we got inviting. Inviting is a art, um, and if you can get a few scripts under your belt on how to invite somebody to a class, a one-on-one, -on -one, or to, host a or to host a class with their friends and family, then this is gonna come so easy and natural for you. So, um, you know, all different kinds of systems have great scripts, so whatever system you're using, look into what those scripts are and what, how can you go about inviting somebody to a small informal gathering? That's really the best. I know a lot of people do big classes, but really, um, for people starting out, I recommend those small informal gatherings, maybe at your house or at their house, where you're comfortable and you're sitting down. You don't have to stand in front of everybody if you don't want to, but you're just comfortable and you've created this community of um, where you just feel, you know, it's much more relaxed. Um, so, so. If you are, you know, if you're unsure on how to actually go about inviting, just make sure that you talk with your upline or your mentor, whoever it is, and maybe they have some scripts for you to look at and follow. Um, I always just like to open it up 
right right away and I just like to ask the big question when I start a conversation. First I talk to them about themselves because I want to know how doTERRA is actually going to help them and I want to find that need in their life. Why do they need doTERRA? What is it about doTERRA that they need? So I just ask them, I ask, are you open, you know, after we're talking and when it comes natural, I just ask them, are you open to natural forms of health care? Um, and then I just let them talk. And then I say, well, what do you know about essential oils? I let them talk. And then that's when I say, well, would you like to learn more? And I tell them about a class I'm doing or a webinar coming up or um, I offer a one-on-one. -on -one. You know, if they're so busy and they, they can't get to a class, then... I go to, go to them. You know, you can't just sit at home and build your business. That's not how this business works. You've got to get out there and you've got to actively pursue those people that you want to share doTERRA with. Um, and so that's kind of how I like to, I like to invite people, um, but use whatever comes natural to you. All right. So the next step that we do after we effectively invite them is we want to make sure that we follow up with each person that we invite. Um, and so inviting can involve three different things. It can involve sharing an oil experience. That's where we're sampling. Um, it can, it, it's also actually the invitation, inviting them to learn more and then follow up. Um, follow up is probably the hardest, but the best and um, most income producing activity probably out of all of these. And the more that you refine these skills, the better your attendance are going to be, the better your enrollments are going to be, um, the more comfortable you're going to get talking in front of other people. All right, but, but now, now that we've identified who and when, so it's time to, it's time to actually share what with these people. And that is the oils. We're sharing about oils and we're going to present to them. So um, you guys know that in your back office, you have some really great sampling options. Um, they're a little bit more ex expensive than getting them, you know, from like a third party source like My Oil Life or Aroma Tools. But there is samples that you can break up and give away. There's a 10 pack of Trio. Um, there's the blend. There's the deep blue rub. There's the On Guard uh, toothpaste and the shampoo and conditioner. Those make great samples to people. When you give an oil experience to somebody before a class and before the presentation, um, the it, your 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 sale um, is going to e increase. So make sure that you're sharing that oil experience with them before you teach. Um, and then also when you are inviting, there's a way that you can invite that's through a text blitz. So if, if anyone has ever done a text blitz, let me see those hearts in here. Has anyone ever done a text blitz where you block out 30 interrupted minutes of your life, <laughs> just 30 minutes, and you take those people off your names list and you invite them to an upcoming class or you invite them to an upcoming event, um, whatever you're going to invite them to. Um, I have some samples of a text uh, blitz if anyone wants them. Uh, type in the comments if you guys want me to give you a few ideas and script ideas. If you do, I will. Okay. Um, so here's some script ideas for a blitz. Uh, let's see. Let me find you some shorter ones. Um, some really simple ones. Um, here's, hey, would you be willing to host a class for me in the first two weeks of March for your friends and family? I have a free mini diffuser with your name on it if you say yes. Um, let's see. For newbies, you can say, good morning. I know you've been interested in learning about essential oils. Would you be interested in hosting a class in March? Hi, I'm in a contest to teach the most classes in March. Would you like to host one for me? Uh, hey, I have entered into the share contest with doTERRA for the month of March. and was wondering if you would host a class with me with five to eight of your friends. I'm giving away a diffuser for anyone who has a class with five or more people. Are you interested? All right, guys, it's that simple. Um, hey, how are you doing with your oil samples I gave you? Would you like to make an appointment with me for a wellness consult? Would you be interested in hosting a class for me? OK, 
okay? That's how we would follow up with somebody that we've sent, that we've given samples to. We don't just give samples and we don't follow up. We need to give samples and we need to make sure that we follow up because if you're not doing that, you're just gonna waste your money. And I don't want anyone wasting their money. Uh, hey, Susie. Susie is always the name I go to, it's so funny. Hey, Susie, I'm scheduling my classes for next month and I have a goal to teach at least five classes. I was wondering if you can host a class for me and get four to seven people there. You get a free hostess gift, all right? Um, be yourself and just say whatever it is that you would say normally, okay? Don't act like you're a script, don't act like you're a robot, but just share whatever comes natural to you um, using kind of a script guideline so that you can you know, get right to the point. It's important that we understand that people are in a hurry and if we treat people like they're always in a hurry, they're gonna be more open to hearing what we have to say because they know that we're not gonna keep them for 30 minutes or something like that on the phone. Um, so lesson number three, we have is to present an essential oils class and focus on those 45 high priority names that you're taking off your names list. And these are the 45 people that you just know, you know that they're going to love the oils. You know that they're going to, um, you know that they're going to be open to it. You know that they're going to support you. You know that they're going to come. Um, those are those 45 people. Now we also have a chicken list, um, that I've already gone through my chicken list and I hope that you guys have gone through your chicken list too. But we, when we're starting out, we want to make sure that we approach those, those people, not specifically on our chicken list. Maybe we're not ready for that, but those high priority, you know, friends and family that we know are going to support us. Okay, so your presentation is done through one-on-ones, classes, events, um, vendor events, webinars, Zooms, Skype, Google Hangout, Facebook Lives are even a great thing now um, because people don't want to leave Facebook. Um, and that's kind of how we present. And so, you know, there's some training videos. I don't know if you follow. We follow the Edge system on our team or on my team. I specifically use it for everything. And and there's some really great new training videos on the Edge Success YouTube channel that I've taken and I use those. I had my own, but they did a way better job. So I just kind of use those and piggyback on them. But they have one that's um, how to teach a my oils class and how to go through it and how to open and how to close. So we need to teach those tips for them. It's It's really, it's really as simple as sharing your story sometimes. Um, and if I can just encourage any of my new leaders, it's just to get out there and have that informal gathering and have your oils in front of you, pass them around, and just share your stories of how maybe you've started using Breathe and maybe you've started using On Guard. Um, and tell about those testimonies that you're having with your family. Okay, so... Um, a quick tip that I've learned is to always state your intention at the beginning of your class. It's so powerful and it sets you up for success throughout and throughout the end of your class. So an example of that that I have written down is my intention today is for you to leave here educated and empowered to use essential oils and to get them into your home. And as you learn, I'd love for you to think of people that you care about. They also need to know what you are learning. As those names come to mind, jot them down. And if you see yourself doing what I'm doing right now, then come and talk to me afterwards and, and I will tell you how. Um, so I love that intention because not only am I talking about the living part of doTERRA and the sharing part of doTERRA, but I'm also talking about the building part. I've left it open. I said, if this is something that you see yourself doing, then let's talk after class, okay? So I've memorized this now and I say it at the beginning of anything that I do, any kind of presentation. Um, so I encourage you guys to do the same thing of something similar. So the, the, last, the next part is the enrolling part. And this for me, this is like a drug. I love enrolling. Um, and I absolutely, um, it invigorates me. It empowers me because I know that I'm showing up to serve others and I'm helping them meet their needs. And so I love truly listening to people and connecting with them and showing them which enrollment kit maybe could work for them or you know what oils could work for them. That is, tr that is my true passion is enrolling and I absolutely love enrolling people into doTERRA. Um, 
so so a couple things you know that when you want to get started with enrolling it's really important that we just know the basics of how to enter in our enrollments how to make placements right um and and how to you know, work with hostesses so that we're both satisfied with the arrangement that we've made when we are enrolling somebody in a class, okay? So all of that is done through communication and very open communication before the class. Um, if you are, uh, yeah, I kind of like go back and forth on this and it depends on really what the incentive doTERRA is doing at the time. Like, you know, next month we're expecting a really great incentive. So I don't feel it's important to trump it. Um, I actually feel it's impossible to trump next month's incentive. So, you know, use those special incentives to your benefit when you are doing a class and make sure that you talk about that incentive. So if it's frankincense next month, you know, make sure that you're really talking about frankincense throughout the class and how amazing it is and how we source it is um, just the beautiful part of it. But make sure that if you are going to do an enrollment incentive that um, you're, it's in your budget, first of all. Don't go all out. I hate to see people going broke um, in this business all the while they're making money. So I personally, and I shared this before, that I have done in the past 50% of my fast start bonus. And so if somebody's going to enroll with the family physician's kit, I'm going to make about 20 bucks from that. So, um, 50% of that is $10. And so that is what I would use to invest back into this new customer, um, with the intention of giving them something that's going to help them create a more natural lifestyle but also something that they can use in the future months. So um, I personally love giving away different books on oils, different ways to use the oils, different, um, you know, the Modern Essentials book or the, oil, the Essential Life book, um, those sort of things, because then they're empowered and they're not gonna text you at all hours on what oils to use for this, but you're able to tell them that it's in the book, go back to the book, go look at it, here you have all the answers. If you can't afford that, then there's a great app called the um, Moderate Essentials app, which makes another really great gift. Um, so another really important part of presenting is following up. The fortune is really in the follow up of this, and it takes over four interactions with any person and any product for that person to actually be ready to purchase. So let me say that again. It takes about four interactions with the oils with your product for most people to be interested in actually making a purchase. So if you've given up on somebody after the second time, then you might have missed out on a lot of business. Don't give up, all right? Just keep continuing. I know you have those people in your life who just want samples. Um, show up and serve and at some point, you know, they might be ready to get their own starter kit or wholesale membership. Um, the most important thing I love is, is supporting your team. And once you are really starting to grow your team, and I usually recommend somebody around like, you know, platinum or diamond really, to where they're taking on their own team. Um, before doing that, you can really spend a lot of time on things that are not income producing. And that includes Facebook groups, mentoring, um, coaching, webinars, calls with your team. Most likely you have a diamond upline who already is doing that. So I tell my team, I said, use me, use me, piggyback on me, invite your team to our coaching calls, invite your team to our mentor calls, invite your team to our business builder Zooms, and you focus on these things, your pipes. You focus on these income producing activities and you get yourself to diamond, not while focusing on things that we can already be, be doing for you. And so, but nurture those people that you've enrolled and that's gonna create true residual income for you. Um, and also by doing those membership overviews and those wellness consults, you're gonna build retention on your team. You're gonna boost LRP and if you look at it this way, a lot of people always are going after that, that close of a kit, but maybe that's just a family physician kit, okay? And you, instead of just focusing on that, you could build a retention on your team where somebody who enrolls with the family physician kit, but you get them on a 50 LRP every month, that's more 
than that enrollment of the family physician kit. So make sure that you are doing those membership overviews within seven days of somebody enrolling with you, um, wellness consult, whatever you guys call it, and help them understand the importance of creating a natural lifestyle and how doTERRA can come in and replace most of their own over-the-counter cleaning products, beauty products, um, healthcare products, all of that. And if you show them how they can do that, they're going to order every single month and you're not going to have to beg them to do it. Um, and then the last thing really is finding builders. And this is a common question that I get, you know, of how in the world do I find builders? You know, I have people who have built for years and they still have the same questions. They're not finding the builders that they need. Um, and so with each membership overview that you do, all right, ask them um, about partnering with you in this business. If somebody enrolls as a wholesale customer, they can quickly upgrade to a wellness advocate when they're ready to build this business. That's what I love about that new wellness advocate and wholesale customer accounts. And make sure that you're offering it and you're talking about it and you're not keeping quiet about the business opportunity. A lot of times we do that because... We're too scared to talk about the business opportunity. We are afraid somebody's going to say no. And there's a good book called, you know, Why I Went for 10 No's a Day or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. But um, it was this guy who wrote this book and his goal was to get 10 no's a day. Um, and he knew that if he could get 10 no's, that he was that much closer to getting his next yes. So don't stop asking if you get a no. Keep going because the next one might be a yes, okay? Um, and whatever kind of system you use, I do a business overview. So if somebody is interested in the business opportunity, I like to do that business overview with them before 14 days, okay? And the reason why is because I have to place them after 14 days. And I want to know where to place them. Um, if they're just going to be a, a sharer who dabbles and, you know, kind of just does it on their own time totally fine but i need to know that before i place them in a in a spot where i need a builder and i want them to let's go let's work let's hustle so um so make sure that you have those clear conversations with people and during your business overview so that you know where actually they want to go in this i also Use this as an opportunity to show them the five streams of income that they can make in doTERRA. And so during the business overview, I'll show them how much they can create as an income in doTERRA. And really, it's up to them. Um, I mean, seriously, what other business could you get a raise every single month? Um, not many. So if they want to get a raise every single month, they totally can. You know, if they want to do more classes, they're going to get more fast start. That's a raise. So... Those are really the steps that I use when I am helping launch a new business builder. It's also what I did um, as I was starting and I continue to rinse and repeat this over and over and over again. I'm constantly looking for, for builders. I'm constantly doing membership overviews and teaching and educating um, new enrollments on you know, the, the benefit of making these natural shifts throughout their lifestyle. Um, and so now I just, I hope that, I hope that this was helpful for you guys who have been on it. I know that it was a longer video, but I hope that you guys found it useful. Um, and, uh, I will be actually uploading it to YouTube, but you'll also be able to find it in Periscope on my account. Thankfully, Periscope doesn't delete our old videos anymore. Um, that is so good. Awesome, Jillian Show. She has two new builders launching next month. That is awesome. That is so good. Um, I also really love the Quick Start Guide from Edge Success. It's an awesome guide to really help um, launch new builders. If you're doing Share Success, I know they have a launch guide as well. Um, so I've kind of put those together, and I use I use them both together. I don't like people getting stuck on a system. I think it's I think they need to really figure out what um, works for them before they kind of get stuck with a system that maybe they don't like. Um, for me, I personally didn't like uh, a system that I started with, so I've sh I've sh I've shifted to using Edge Success. Oh, good! You just hit Premiere and you're trying to get to Silver. Congratulations! I know that you can absolutely do it. So. 
Um, thanks guys so much for joining me on this last day of the month. I uh, hope that you guys are able to achieve your dreams and your goals this month and set bigger dreams, set bigger goals for December. It's going to be an incredible, an incredible month. Um, and I will, I will see you guys on the next scope. All right. Thank you guys so much. Bye.